Hi guys, Mark Raymond Hunter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable the utterly idiotic hover to play feature that YouTube decided to implement permanently. So if your cookies keep getting reset or for whatever other reason, if it keeps turning itself back on and you keep having to disable inline playback every single time, this will solve the issue permanently or at least as of the day of recording this. So how you do it is pretty simple. Also, I take no credit for figuring out how to do this. I found this guide right here. It took me forever to find this, but it works so or, or at least it works for me anyways uh, you can see the total instructions right over here I'll have a link in the description you can see it on the screen right now so you're gonna need to install a cookie editor extension for your web browser so there's one for Firefox and for Chrome uh, in my case I'm using Firefox with a whole lot of extensions as you can see and uh, this is the extension right here so if you click it for Firefox it'll bring here quick cookie manager you can see it's a recommended thing meaning it's probably pretty safe and you can see it has a lot of good reviews so uh, from there what you're gonna have to do is is, and just to show you guys that it's working right over here because I already have it turned on but I'm gonna show you guys so this is the old style where you could put it over and if you he keep it over for a few seconds it'll do a preview but it doesn't pop out at you you can click right on top to edit to watch later and it's not nearly as annoying or intrusive so you're gonna click on the extension you just installed click manage all cookies again all the instructions are right over here now over here you're gonna see a whole bunch of different things for different uh, um, for different cookies I probably should not be showing this but I don't really care um, and what you're gonna do is you are going to uh, type in YouTube it's gonna show one domain for youtube.com and what you're then gonna do is you're gonna scroll to the bottom where it says uh, pref right over here this is for preferences as in user preferences now by default I believe it will be a little bit different whatever it says over here doesn't really matter um, it's gonna say something like and f6 equals 400 or something like that. I don't know what it what it says what you're gonna do is you're gonna delete up until where it says f7 I'm just gonna even do this and I'm just gonna copy and paste it so I don't know what that 400 thing is. I don't think it matters. I think it added that back afterwards. I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. And as you can see, uh, this is what I said before. The end right there is important. So this is a little bit of code just so that we understand what this actually means. Volume equals 100. I'm pretty sure means to set the default volume for the YouTube videos at 100. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that. I know a little bit of code. I'm not really great at this stuff, but that's just my guess. F7 is, I'm guessing, for the inline playback setting which is why changing it from f6 to f7 will fix that and I don't know what the rest of this is so what I'm doing is I'm deleting everything up until so time zone equals UTC the end signifies that it's separating which feature you're trying to switch in the cookie so anytime you have like let's say over here says volume equals 100 and f7 equals 1 there should be an end before the volume so if you're having issues that is something you should probably be aware of so uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to copy um, this, paste it over here. So uh, time zone equals UTC and volume equals 100, which I'm guessing is the default volume, and F7 equals 1. So uh, I have no idea what the F7 equals 1 means, but I know that fixes it. And I'm saving it. Now this did something. I don't know what it did. doesn't really matter. And what I could do is now I could refresh. And it was already working before, but you can see it's still working even after I edited the cookie, so that's how you fix it. I'm sure this helped a lot of you, so um, you're welcome. Have a good one.